I, I wanted to start by, and I forgot, to, by committing an illegal act <laughs> in front of all of you. <laughs> with, with Colin. And I think I would like to do that. Because it's such an honor to stand on the stage with us. These weeks are, as I say, illegal. The law says, under the, there's something called the National List of Permitted Varieties, which maybe we can talk about after in the question period or later. That law, enforced by DEFRA, it was in British law before it went to Europe, so we can't just blame it on Europe. Um, and it says you can only market, you can only transfer ownership of the seed of a variety that's not on this official list. Um, uh, sorry, that, that was very confusing. There's an official list that they maintain. If the, and you have to have the name of the variety that's been developed by plant breeding in order to be able to market it, in order to be able to give it to someone else, to give it to someone, to sell it to someone, to trade it to someone. If that variety name is not on the list, this goes for tomatoes and potatoes and you name it, it's the same thing. The Henry Doubleday, according to DEFRA, according to DEFRA, they told me they're trading illegally. And the only reason they haven't closed them down is because the prince is the patron. <laughs> so the same goes for wheat. These old wheat varieties have fallen off the list years ago. They were never on the list. And, tra and, and transferring ownership to another person could get me up to two years in jail or a massive fine. I swear that's the truth. It's, it's almost as bad as smoking dope. It's possessions decriminalized. I can hold it. I can grow it. But where did I get it? And dealing is, is illegal. I hope that, that you're thinking I'm roughly in that category, Martin. You're, you're nodding yes, thank you very much. So that's confirmation from a senior scientist. Um, so I want to give some to Colin, but if I go to jail, <laughs> visit me, can I read your next book while I'm in jail? <laughs> so, 